All right, so I went ahead and graphed all three versions. So my first version is t versus 1 over uh, root of m m2, recalculated the values that I needed to plot, plotted them down here. So my x is 1 over m2. Data table, you can copy from the screen if you want, but remember to earn credit, you need to produce your own graph. So make sure you graph it and find the slope. So for me, I found the slope to be 0.2, and then I said 0.2 equals 2 pi root of m1r over g, square it to get rid of the radical. And then what I did, I just had 0.04, so I canceled 4 over here, that gave me 0.01. So overall, when I figured out my slope and converted it to g, I got 9.5 meters per second squared. My second option was graphing period squared versus 1 over m2. So versus here I did period versus a root, 1 over root of m2. Now I'm getting m2 still in the dungeon, however it's not rooted, therefore t is squared. Again, these guys are going to be the same for you as they are for me. Then you have your own graph. So graph it. Mine is a little bit off with this point. And nevertheless, when I figured out my points, so remember when you do a best fit line, you cannot use the dots on in your data sheet anymore. You're looking at where your graph actually hit. So I went from 20 to 50 for my run and my rise went from 0.8 to about 2. So that was 1.2 over 30, which is again 0.04. So matching nine and a half meters per second squared. And the last option, graphing one over, so t to the negative two, period, one over one over square. So the reciprocal of a square period gives me m. So this is exactly the reciprocal of this. Then I just, again, recalculated only the t, kept m as is, so nicely fits in uh, on this axis. Uh, and then we have 2, so I went 0.5, 1, 1 and a half, 2, and that gave me this nicely looking graph. And I went from here to... What did I choose? 0 0.02 was, uh, yeah, I chose these two points because they look exactly smack in the middle. And that gave me the 25 for my slope, but this slope is flipped. So remember the formula is this. So then if I flipped it, then 25 was g over. And then therefore I will do 25 multiplied by this denominator to get my g. And again, g was 9.5. Interestingly, AP recalculated theirs to be under 9 somehow, but that's what I got. I'm going to and my ground, you please use your own numbers for the slope. So don't just copy mine, please. Actually do the work because that's your practice. And since we're trying to get you your credit back, you need to show your work.